know christ thank god for this opportunity and thank the leadership as well the first thing i learned about mark chapter one was about greatness that um for every greatness <clears throat> there precedes sorry there precedes a sign so i learned that if john the baptist is, if jesus christ's life was a book then john the baptist would have been an intro so as christians we have to be sensitive to the spirit of god to understand times and seasons and know why it is happening about the baptism that john the baptist was baptizing i learned that he was baptizing them to repentance of sin baptism by water is um i learned that is repentance of their sins so this made me to understand that if you really want to have a fellowship with god if you want to walk with god you must be you must make that conscious effort that decision to repent from your sins and then the next thing about jesus christ's baptism i learned that it was his announcement to the world that is how god used to announce him to the world that this is my my beloved son in whom i am well pleased and then after he was introduced uh, announced to the world there was temptation the temptation made me to understand that once the world knows who you are and what you carry it will fight you but he was able to stand bible said he was fast uh, he was fasting for 40 days and then angels came to minister to him so he wasn't left alone there yes and then also after that he began his ministry so when you are able to stand i realized that that is where you can be able to shine the next thing i would like to talk about was the call of his disciples i realized that everybody needs somebody like there's a need for fellowship there's a need for friendship so and um, even jesus christ himself realized that he can he couldn't do all the work by himself he went out to call people so no matter how anointed you are I understood that you need people one you need people to mentor to raise them to to bring them up impact what you have in them and then also you need people to keep you company let's not forget that when we read matthew realize that when all the works that jesus christ was doing even when he was leaving he said that he he would give them the spirit like he was leaving them with something to continue the work he was doing so with there i realized i learned about the need for fellowship the reason why we need human beings so if we are saying that we are christians and we are following the footsteps of god then we also need people yes and then the next thing i realized was that after he he chose the disciples he went about to do the work of god so that side also i realized that um the demons knew them demons he casted out they knew jesus christ yes and so they were saying that what have we done to you uh, he said i know you you are the holy one jesus christ didn't need his applause he said keep quiet and come out be quiet and come out so that side i learned that we don't need the applause of the world to to know that we are we are audacious to know that we carry something within if we say we are followers of uh, followers of jesus christ or if we say we are followers of jesus christ we don't need the world's applause bible makes us to understand that when the spirit came out of the man he went about and then the news spread so if god is glorified we also are glorified we don't need the world to applaud us we don't need the enemy to 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 give us fans we don't need the world's applause yes and so we don't have to be idle christians after this we realize that jesus christ he casted out demons he went to heal peter's mother you don't have to be an idol christian for every day you have to let the world benefit from you that is what i learned from that side and then verse 35 also makes us to understand the essence of devotions yes the essence of quiet time with god you need as christians i learned that you need to have time with god you need to encounter god you need to have fellowship with god and then when you come out you do exploits when you came out they said everybody is looking for you he showed how essential he is something that struck me here was that not because everyone is looking for you you leave your 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 inner 
uh, fellowship with God and go to serve them. Make sure that you are satisfied with God. Like God has fed you to the brim before you go out and then you impact others. I, I, this one is not here, but I believe or I'm, I'm thinking that if he hadn't satisfied him, himself, like he wasn't strong spiritually before going out, then he could have been tempted, he could have fallen, and then others. And then um, from verse 45, I realized that your good works will follow you. People were just applauding Jesus Christ here and there. Yes, so I, th- what I learned from there is that your good works will follow you. He began to proclaim the messages freely and then the message spread. Some of them, it was not him, but because of the things he was doing, it kept spreading here and there. So I realized that your good work in the ministry of God will follow you. Thank you. And have a nice evening.